guys, this is Scribbly again with another pen review. And today we are going to look at another Kaweco pen. Guys, it's been quite a while that I had a Kaweco pen in front of the camera lens here. I have reviewed a number of Kaweco pens over the years. I've never reviewed their multi-function pen, which is what we are going to do today. And this multi-function pen is the Kaweco Dia 2 Kaweco Mat. That's what it's called, Kaweco Mat. I have reviewed the Kaweco Dia 2 fountain pen, um, looking pretty similar, same 1920s-ish inspired design. And today I'm really glad to be able to go through the Kaweco Mat multi-function pen with you. Let's have a look at packaging and so on first. I got this sent pen, uh, I got this pen sent obviously for review by Kaweco with this super beautiful little card here. I'm going to pin that up. Really, really love that business card format very very beautiful and then the pen comes in this Kaweco box here that most of their pens come in cardboard black and then these tin boxes also vintage inspired very very nice you open it up pen rested in here like that and then we have here the Kaweco Dio 2 Mat, probably for Kaweco Mat and G for gold because it's a gold trimmed pen and you can also get the pen with silver trims. Let's look at the pen as said, it's this 1920s ish inspired design looking very, very similar, obviously to, to the Kaweco Dia 2 fountain pen. It's the same pen series. Let's cover the pen systematically, top to bottom. We have a highly reflective golden finial up here with the KVCO three syllable uh, logo up here. It's actually two different gold tones, this ring, this outer ring and this inner three syllable logo kind of thingy, which looks kind of cool. We then have like this uh, sort of like ridged, knurled ring up here, which is sort of the signature design element of the DR2 series. It says Kaweco Mat, Germany here, Kaweco Mat being the name I said for their multifunction pen. You then have like this very typical Kaweco clip, which, hey guys, surprise, surprise, I'm seeing that right now, you can actually read it when you have the hold uh, when you hold the pen in your left hand that's the first time i see that i don't know if they have that with all their kaweco mats or if this is like sort of like a montage or assembly mistake because typically all pens are made for right-handed people so in this case right-handed people can't read the kaweco I don't know if this is like a move of inclusivity right here, but I like it. Sorry for having been carried away by this. I just noticed that right now, anyway, this very typical retro inspired Kaweco clip right here. We have then two gold center bands. As it's a multifunction pen, this one here comes with uh, uh, 0 0.2 milli uh, 0 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil. And it has two ballpoint refills inside. Uh, it's D1 refills. I'll show them to you in a second. They say R and B for, I don't know what, rot and blau or red and blue or red and black, whatever. This one here, in as a matter of fact, came with a red D1 refill that didn't write. It was dried up or empty. I don't know. And a black one. That one did write. Then we have the barrel down here. Barrel has a gold ring that comes out a little bit. It's a little bit reliefish. I think you can hear that. It does come out like maybe half a millimeter or a millimeter or so. 
Uh, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. That's a bit problematic for me when writing because like that's exactly where I personally tend to hold that pen, unfortunately, which is why it doesn't work in my hand very well. Um, we then have this knurling down here again, matching the knurling up there. Very nice, uh, very nice design element. I mean, the pen does look fantastic if you ask me. And then we have like a gold tip or end of the pen down here. And as said, with the silver trimmed pen, all that stuff would then obviously be silver. The pen is a really, really nice size, lays great in my hand. It's a bit of a larger pen. Uh, I'll do a size comparison in a second. Let me get out a second size comparison pen that I'm thinking of at the moment. Done that, wanted to compare only to the Lamy Safari, but there was just another pen that popped into my head. So I got that out. And uh, yeah, I said, I mean, like, it's a very nice balanced pen. Very, very beautiful. The only issue that I actually have is like, I don't hold the pen down here because that would be too far down the page for me and it would be too slippery. I don't hold the pen up here, which you probably could do um, and what probably some people might do. Um, but that's a little bit too far up the barrel for me personally. I tend to actually hold the pen exactly right here, which means that I do exactly grab onto this ring here. And that does then, because it actually lays right here on my knuckle, that does become quite uncomfortable for me over time, which is unfortunately that pen not very usable for me personally. But if you have a slightly different grip, a lower grip or a higher grip, however, down here, the pen would be super slippery because like this is like highly polished metal. So if you have a higher grip, the pen may, may work for you. Or if you have a, a grip down here and that doesn't disturb you, may also work for you. But I would say this is a pen that you might want to try out in a shop first, because that's actually a very critical position uh, of this ring and going forward, I would actually recommend Caveco to, you know, make that just flush with a barrel and maybe even flat or whatever, just so that you don't feel that because that could be a deal breaker potentially. So as said, this is a multi-function pen. In order to get the, uh, the different refills out, you actually twist the barrel right here. So that's how you do that, you know, on the first position you have the whatever you fill this B with in that case here it's a black one then on the second position you would have whatever you would fill the R with in this case here it's a dried up or empty red one not a deal breaker I mean doesn't matter it's just pretty inexpensive D1 refills you just put in one that works and uh, on the next position you then have the 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil and in order to extend the uh, the refill you just press up here and that's how it then comes out right press again you could put it back in and if you press again it's a bit difficult to do that with two hands because normally you would operate it like this as a matter of fact that does extend the refill so pretty straightforward in order to refill the pen, you just overturn it a little bit beyond the last ballpoint refill. That's what the barrel looks from the inside. And then you have all these refills in here. As said, the ballpoint refills are these like fairly inexpensive and uh, super widely available D1 refills. The cool thing with these D1 refills is that I think there's like uh, also not only ballpoint refills available in that size, I think you can even get like felt tip pens or fine liners and gale writers and all that kind of stuff. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, and then here you have the mechanical pencil and you actually just open that thing here up. That's how you refill those refills. And then you put that thing back on here and then you are actually good to go. Screw the whole thing back together and there you go. That's it. Let's um, do a quick size comparison before we do a writing sample. So that's the Caveco Mart. Um, here we have my standard size reference pen, Lamy Safari. That's what it looks like. Kept pretty much exactly the same length and uncapped. 
Alami Safari would be slightly shorter. So that's what I meant when I said that that's not exactly a small multifunction pen. And the other pen that I got out, it's like a Kaweco all-rounder that Kaweco has one sort of like, uh, not engraved, I think it's a screen print. And there was a Christmas present that we review people once got from Kaweco, like I think it was three years back or something like that. But I thought uh, the Kaweco all-rounder ballpoint pen, that may be a size reference that you would want to see Maybe beside that pen, pretty pretty similar in size, maybe the all-rounder, a little bit bulkier, a little bit uh, heavier, and a lot more comfortable for me to write with because it doesn't have any weird ring here sticking into my hands. Okay, guys, let's do a quick writing sample. That's not going to be a spectacular one because, uh, you know, it's not a fountain pen. It's just a mechanical pencil, and a mechanical pencil writes the way... A mechanical pencil writes and obviously it depends on whether you have like soft or hard refills in here then it will write a little bit differently. Uh, this here was supposed to be that red refill. Ah look now it's coming up. Now this one here is coming up. Fantastic. Different color than I would have expected. Um, it was probably just dried up. I had that pen in use for quite a while and I never could get that refill here to work. Now it does. Not all that well, but it does as said. Doesn't matter, guys. You just swap out the refill. And here we have the black one. That actually works very well. And I already feel it again. I hold the pen here. That ring lays smack on my knuckle. Ah, it's just uncomfortable. It's a pity. I really like the design of that pen, but uh, the placement, let me zoom the camera back out, of this uh, ring here does make it a bit unusable for me and I don't like to hold the pen up here unfortunately but as said the design really 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 beautiful price of the pen 95 euro not exactly inexpensive um, you get the Lamy 2000 multifunction pen I think for like 25 or 30 euros less which is quite a bit um, cool thing with this one here is that it actually is not only the one ballpoint refills in different colors, but it actually has a mechanical pencil in there, which I find is absolutely fantastic. So as said, super cool pen, great manufacture quality, lays great in hand, super cool that you have a 0.7 mechanical pencil in there. Very, very nice designed, super cool. Uh, a bit on the expensive side, maybe, but hey, that's a thing that you have for the rest of your life, probably. So nah, not all that bad. It's not ridiculously expensive. Only issue that I have with the pen is that ring here. Kaweco, please make that flat and I would be a lot happier. That was that with the review of the Kaweco Dia 2 Kaweco Mat. Hope it was useful and hope to see you at the next review. Ciao, ciao.